If you want the tea, I can get it seriously. Talking about your favorite web series, right here on Seriously. Relax, we got recaps, free your mind and have a good time. Hey guys, welcome back to Seriously Podcast. I'm Brittany. And I'm Mary. Um, today we're continuing our um, recap of Keloid. We're covering episodes three, four, and five. But today's a very special episode because we have a special guest. Ow, ow. <laughs> we are joined by Ronaldo Pinella. Hey, hey, if you said it right. <laughs> a little it. nervous. You got it. <laughs> um, who plays Omar on the, on the show? Welcome. Oh, thanks for having me. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Um, so every time we have a guest, the first question we ask them is, what was the very first web series you ever watched? Oh, I ever watched. Mm-hmm. I mean, it may have been, uh, the Miss Ed- Miss Education, is it, or? Uh, Misadventure. Misadventure. We know what you're talking mm-hmm. about. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That's why I said it like that. I'm like, <laughs> help a brother out. Um, yeah, Issa Rae, um, loved it, binge watched it. I actually was in Kentucky at the time watching it. Oh. That's a story for another day. But, um, yeah, I fell in love with it. Um, and I'm glad to see the format just getting bigger and bigger. Exactly, yeah. exactly. One of our favorites, yes. too. Yeah. So what was it about Keloid that, uh, you know, you wanted to sign on and be involved? I mean, I'm always interested in projects that promote diversity. Mm-hmm. Um, the sci-fi genre has typically been devoid of people of color. Yeah. So this particular show, bringing a black male lead, a strong female lead, pairing uh, with him, um, some interesting characters. It's an authentic New York vibe, too, mm-hmm. which I appreciate as a native New Yorker myself. And it just seemed like a really cool project with a lot of ambitious people involved. Yeah, yeah. definitely see that. And what was the audition process like? Like, how did you get the part? It was different, the audition process, because it was working with the lead actor, mm. um, uh, David, who plays Key Lloyd. It was really on our feet. We had a lot of improvisation mm. um, because the entire process was really collaborative. Um, okay. They really wanted us to make the characters our own, wanted it to look and sound like people on the street. Mm-hmm. And I think we achieved that. Yeah. yeah. Really good. So um, how long have you been acting? When did you realize that you wanted to actually do this? I started acting in high school because I was a really bad kid. Oh. Um, really bad. Like, I was failing English class. Uh-oh. And my teacher was like, you know, if you take drama, you don't have to write essays. And I'm like, what? What? Sign, Sign me up. up. <laughs> exactly, right? Say no more. Word. Um, and since then, I mean, I just fell in love with it. It was the first time, like, I got to express myself openly. People wanted to hear my unique opinions and viewpoints on stories and characters. And it's a lot of fun, you know, like it's a grind and a struggle. Mm -hmm. But when you get to do it and you work with good people, it's a ton of fun. Right. So you play Omar. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your character. Actually describe him in one word. Hmm. One word. Yeah, one word. I would say he is a dreamer. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's laughing at me. Because I'm thinking about episode five, and he really is a dreamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, have a seat, boy. Yeah, you know, it's like he's a dude who like understands the environment he's in, the mm-hmm. limitations that are around him, mm-hmm. and he sees in Keloid an opportunity to rise out of that. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. That's true. So, are you a sci-fi fan? I am. I mean, I'm super nerdy. Um, it's always weird when I'm dating when that comes up because they're like, oh no, you're into Star Trek, Star Wars. Oh, oh, no. No. So what are like your favorite shows or movies that are like sci-fi? That are sci-fi? I really like Stranger Things. I don't know. Yeah. If, yeah. I don't know if, yeah. I love that. You know, I, it could be more diverse, but... Um, I'm sure. He ain't lying. Yeah, but it's it's great, you know, and it feels very of the now, even though it does have a, a intentional retro vibe to mm-hmm. it, you know? Yeah. yeah. So if you could have any of Keloid's powers, which one would you have? I mean, I've never been able to play basketball that well. (laughs) So as you see in episode five, he has some game. True. Um, So if I could, you know, do those spin moves and be blindingly fast, I would love that. Yeah. What about you? Oh, um... Tele, tele teleportation, right? No, no, no. Telekinesis. No. No, you mean I want to. I want to read teleport? people's mind. Yeah, that's telekinesis. Yeah, oh, telekinesis. you want to read people's yeah, minds? Yeah, so I can know if they're no, lying. I could tell them. I could tell them. I don't want to be talking to them in their mind. I just want to know. I don't want to mm. know your thoughts though. Like, ugh. You could turn yeah. it on and off though. That's true. Like, what is he really thinking? <laughs> oh, all right. That's all I know. I guess. You. Um. What would I want? Teleportation. Teleport. If that's a power that he has. Yeah, he be jumping. Oh, yeah. Teleportation. Awesome. (laughs) (laughs) 
Because I stay late. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hello. I'm like today. Today. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so what can we expect for the rest of the season? Ooh, like, what so, can you give us? So, Omar reappears in episode six. Okay. Um, in episode six, he gets to witness more of Keloid's powers firsthand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't want to spoil anything. I want people to watch. Get right. those views up on YouTube. Um, <laughs> but you, you start to see the stakes rise. You start to see them in situations that are more dangerous. You see the characters reach a boiling point. Mm-hmm. And it gets to a really exciting place leading into season two. Okay. Yeah. All right. And um, finally, what some words of advice you would give to some actors today? I think the main thing is perseverance. You know, Mm -hmm. we all face countless numbers of rejections every single day. Mm -hmm. But it's truly pounding the pavement, believing in yourself, not letting the no's stop you. That really, in the end, will lead to success. Yeah. Um, Because there's no easy path for anyone. You hear about these, like you know, overnight successes, but that's never true. True. You know, Lupita Nyong'o was working 10 years before 12 Years a Slave, Mm. you know, but it seems like she came out of nowhere. Yeah, right. That's Um, exactly how it is. And it's just believing in yourself and having faith. That's the main thing I would say. Awesome. Awesome. Dropping some gems. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, guys, so we're going to get into episode three of Keloid, um, followed by episode four. (laughs) All right, so episode starts off, you know, Keloid and Mama Keloid, they officially touched Mama down Keloid. in New York City, and they settled in Brooklyn. So Keloid, he's taking a stroll through the streets, and, you know, he walked by a police station. Um, he walks by this mom who's, like, scolding her kid, mm-hmm. and Keloid, like, speaks to him, like, through through his mind, and yeah. the little boy stops. Yes, I And I'm you like, Keloid, you're going to get this little boy in trouble. Like, now he's really going to get a beating because right. of you. So he's the mom is like, come on, trouble. like, I ain't got all day. <laughs> so he's already in trouble. So he also walks by these two officers, and he looked guilty of something. Yeah. So back in the apartment, how did they get an apartment, first of all? That's what I want to know. Y'all just come to New York and find an apartment like just that? Just like that? So I'm like, maybe the mom used her powers to like make them make someone give them the apartment or something. I wouldn't Probably. put past her. So, you know, she's ironing clothes, and then she stops and like looks out the window. And I'm like, oh boy, what the cute Yeah, do? I think she saw him talking to the cops. Oh, really? I think so, the way she stopped, and she knew what he was doing. Um... So then... So next thing, Keloid is talking to a detective. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this boy, come get him. Because, like, you... What are you doing? At first, I thought that was his dad. Like, I thought so, too. He just wanted to finally meet his dad. Mm. Like, in this interrogation room. <laughs> Uh-oh. What you... I, no, I mean... You can't hey, say nothing. I, I mean, I might know some things, but, you know. Um. So as soon as Keloid starts to talk, he's like, I'm murdered. <laughs> and it switches. Like, I'm a very bad son, and I'm very unappreciative. So his mom is outside feeding him words to say to the yeah. cop because she, she don't got time for this little boy. Not at all. Yes. I'm murdered of a very bad son. Very unappreciative. My mother really, really tries. tries with me, but I just do whatever the hell I want. Whenever my little brain tells me to. Oh, and I'm also very emotional. Puberty, stupidity is bad with my emotions. She's trying to figure out which side is, is winning. Did you kill your mother? So the detective is like, I mean, did you kill her? Like, is right. she abusing you? Like, you're wasting my time. What He's is trying this? to crack the case. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, is this a joke? Like, little boy, you're wasting my time. Right, right. He's like, tell me why I shouldn't lock you up right now. Right, yes. Lock you up in Bellevue. Mm-hmm. And Kilo is like, I don't need to be locked up. I need to grow up. Right. That's what the mom had yeah. told him to say. Because that's what he needs to do. Right. So Detective's like, you're right, but I know what you're saying. I know what you're going through. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you have no clue what this boy's going through. <laughs> <laughs> you have no clue. I'm like, sir, we're not talking about the same thing. <laughs> we're not. I know it's, to you it sounds like we are, but it's, it's, we're it's not really talking about not. the same thing. So then he tells Keloid to write down his address because he's going to pay a visit tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, all right, now get out and don't come back. <laughs> You like, lucky you pulled this crap right, on me. Try this with somebody else. You're going to have some problems. <laughs> so then his mom it, um, through his head is like, let's go. Yeah, so bring they, your butt on. Bring, on. bring your butt on. So they're talking through, you know, telepathy. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he's still sad about killing his little friend. And then Kilo is like, I want to see dad. I, I want to see, see my dad. daddy. And, you know, then he rolls up on his mom. Mind you, she's, like, trying to take a breath of fresh air, like, a moment of silence. Her eyes are closed, and he rolled up out of nowhere. And he's like, it's been two months, and you keep making excuses. Right. I'm like, 
why are you not in school? <laughs> that's true. That's <laughs> you've been here for two months. <laughs> that's so true. You've just been rolling. Maybe they came in the, the summer. Maybe it's summer. No. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't because remember the girl? She had like a oh, full yeah. layer outfit, North Face and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't no summer. It ain't. <laughs> So the mom just like, you know, it proves to me you can be mature and maybe I'll reconsider, like, to, you know, letting you see your father, I guess. Yeah. That's kind of weird that they haven't seen his dad yet. For two months. I guess because the mom just won't do it. She don't want him to. So, I mean, like, the minute that she knew she didn't want to, why would she stay in New York? That's if what, he's not going to see his dad, like, what you settling down here yeah, for? Yeah. That's a question you got to ask the mom. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into episode four. So, Keloid and Mama Keloid. Mm-hmm. Her name is Muriel. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. But in my notes, I always put Mama Keloid. Um, they're playing chess with their minds. You know, that's what they do in the regular. Mm-hmm. So, but then we next scene, we see a woman come knocking at their old house looking for Keloid. And the neighbor is like, girl, they've been gone. Mm-hmm. They moved away mm-hmm. a couple months back. Like, I don't know nothing. So um, the homegirl, she goes snooping through their mail, and he's like, I told Mind you they're gone. He didn't even close the door yet. Right. You should wait till he at closes least. the door. Act like you're leaving. Because he's then looking straight snooping. at her. He's like, I said they <laughs> left already. Like, what don't you get? Sir, have you seen this girl? They, they didn't have no visit. Can you just look at the picture? It's, it's my daughter, and she's missing. Can you make that a little bigger? I can't. Are you sure? I'm sure. Sorry. He didn't even look at it. Right. Now I ain't seen that girl. I don't know that girl. Um, but meanwhile, in New York City, Detective Blake, he stops by the address that Keloid gave to him. And he's he's looking for Lloyd. Yeah. But L-L-O-Y-D. That kind of like. Right. <laughs> so a little boy had answered the door and was like. It was I'm- the same boy from episode three. I don't know what little boy you talk about. The boy that got scolded by oh, his that's mother. Yes. Oh, wow. I never even checked that. Wow. Yes. I don't know how he got his address. Yeah, I don't know. So the little boy is like, I'm Lloyd. And the detective's like, no, not you. 15, six-year-old Big Lloyd. Lloyd. <laughs> and the little boy's looking at him like confused. I don't know who you're talking about. So he calls his mom and, you know, turns out it's, it's the... It's the wrong address. Yeah. So he goes out sn- outside and he sniffs the paper. Yeah. And then he looks up. And I'm like, is he one of them? So then mom and Keloid, you know, they're still playing. And Keloid's winning, of course. So then the mom says, uh, like, she goes to sit down. She's like, I forgot how much New York makes me sick. Mm -hmm. I think I'm coming down with something. And I'm like, ma'am, cut the shit. Like, it's not New York that's doing this to you. Right. Like, cut it out. It's just so dramatic. Even before they came to New York, she was acting so tired and, like, sick. I don't know. Yeah. Ma'am, please. (laughs) So then she has said, like, I can't be your friend. Like, I'm your mother. I know you're still mad at me. Yeah, I'm fine. But I can't be your friend. I have to be your mother. Look, I have to see around corners that you can't see around for yourself. I think we've had enough for one day, isn't it? Uh, what do you say we call it a day and go? One day you'll thank me for it. And she's like, I love you, though. And he's like, I love you, too. I, I guess. guess. <laughs> <laughs> And then she hears some, like, random voice and is like, you hear something? Right. Didn't they hear the doorbell, too? Yeah. But it it turns out it was the doorbell, but she had heard, like, a man's voice. Mm. And Keloid looking at her like, you bugging. Right. It's the door. Like, relax. (laughs) So then he goes to to the door, and the little boy gives him a paper that says, welcome home. Confused. All the way confused. confused. Um, (laughs) And then we go back to the neighbor at the old house, Mm -hmm. and he's like, hold on, wait a minute, I have my uh, wrong glasses on. Let me see that picture again. Like, sir, get it together. (laughs) So he got his bag. These are his good glasses. (laughs) So I'm like, oh, gosh, here we go. Right? The minute he sees the picture. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know that little girl. That little fast girl. Right, that fast girl. She was here. Mm -hmm. About two months ago. (laughs) Okay, so let's get into episode five. Okay, so mom is stressed. She's stressed and she's sick. Yeah. She's splashing water on her face. Like, she cannot control her hormones or something. I don't know. 
<laughs> and it's, key, it's Key Lloyd's first day of school. First and I'm like, about damn time. This yeah. boy just been sitting home playing chess with her. Like, mm-hmm. no, that's not life. Um, he's not even excited. No, he's he's nervous and he's mad at the same time. Mm-hmm. And he's like, these now these kids going to make fun of my name. And he asked his mom, like, why would, why would you name me that? I was thinking that, too. She said, I don't know. It just came to me. But it's a good name. And I'm like, girl, where? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? How? <laughs> How is that a good name? <laughs> His mom had asked him for a hug and he like played her. He went to go get his bag instead of giving her a hug. Yeah, yeah. Like, this little boy is rude. And right, he's right. testing me. Mm-hmm. Not only is he testing his mom, he's testing, <laughs> he's testing me. You like too. I want to snatch him up. <laughs> he acting up. Mm-hmm. But then he's like, Oh, I'm I'm getting tired of this place. Whose idea was it to come here? Talk about it. <laughs> you said let's go to New York and now you're tired of this place. Right. Come on, Keloid, cut it out. Um, so he's all mad at his mom. So she's like, would you hate it less if you get to play basketball? And homeboy was hyped. Now okay? he hyped, right? He's going to hug her, basketball? jump up and down. Thanks, Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. I love you. I'll see now, you later, okay? Now you love your mom. Get okay. out. <laughs> get the hell out of my house. <laughs> but then the mom says, like, don't be showing off either. And but of course he don't listen. I know. And what he do? Shooting threes the entire time. Like got the whole team Allie feeling you. him. The whole team was like, "Who's this kid? Who the kid? Who is this? Oh my god!" Everybody was like, "He needs to be on our team." They like, like LeBron. The next yes, LeBron is yes. here. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> um, and then after after he plays. Um, one of the other students, Mr. Mm-hmm. Omar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes up to him trying to sign him. Right. <laughs> like, I'm your new manager, free of charge right, right now. Right, right. But... You're a free agent now, but you could come on my team. Like, what? You do realize you scored every point, don't you? Yeah. You didn't notice? We going straight to the Knicks front office. Are we? We going to the Knicks? You got a manager already? Nah, man, I don't need one. Nah, don't worry. I work free of charge for now. But I'm about to get my math card on. All right, get, get your money, boy. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so they become quick friends, eating, shopping together. Like, that's the homie. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. That's the homie. How was it filming those scenes? It was fun. We were just really hollering at girls on the street, <laughs> buying pizza. We just on Nostrand Avenue, just oh walking up gosh. and down. Um, there's some shots that got cut of like a tattoo parlor where oh. we're like looking at tats. And uh-uh, they were acting up. Yeah, yes. we were acting ratchet out there. I'm like, when are y'all going home? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got homework to do. Why you got homework? <laughs> And, you know, Kilo is starting to really feel life right now. Like he's living, he's loving life in New York City right now. Yeah. Best day he's had since he got there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, mom, on the other hand, mm-mm. is tired. She's sleeping on the train. That's rule number one in New don't, York. She's not from be, here. She ain't. <laughs> she's not from no, here. No, but she used to be from. Oh, is she? I think she's from, do you know? Don't ask me. Oh, right? <laughs> Can I remember, I mean, towards the end, we'll get into it, but I think she said something like, I knew it was wrong to come back here. I thought she just said, I knew it was wrong to come here. All right. Well. Never mind. So she's sleeping on the train, and then we see the detective that Keloy spoke to. Yeah, Detective Blake. Blake, watching her. Appears out of nowhere, first of all. Okay, so he's, like, jumping. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for him. Nobody. And nobody <laughs> saw that on the train, like, this guy going in well, and out? Well, it kept... Uh, well, it was turning dark, remember? Oh, Because they were, like, know. underground somewhere. Oh, I guess. First, he's across from her. Then he's right next to her, about to touch her. Mm-hmm. And then she wakes up, and she hears that voice again. Yeah. He had her so shook that she got off the train. Yeah, she could not do it. <laughs> no matter what stop this was, I'm getting off the train. <laughs> I'm like, ma'am, is this even your stop? She don't know. She don't care. She's freaking out. Freaking out. So then she's like, where are you? And he was like behind her. Mm-hmm. And then I think the voice had said, like, finally the tracker gets tracked. That's all I really heard. I couldn't understand okay. anything else the voice had said. I know he said something about her hibernating. I heard that. Oh, I didn't hear that. But what whatever he said had her shook. Yeah. So she's on the move. She's <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> she runs home talking about we gotta go. And then Omar comes out Out of nowhere. Eating her food <laughs> with like talking about where we going? What happened? Little boy, first of all, who are you? <laughs> Second of all, who's talking to you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then there's another little boy on the bouch. On the bouch on the phone. 
doesn't even acknowledge that this woman no. came into Usually, the apartment. I know growing up, if I'm at my friend's house, I'm going to say, hi, Mrs. Clark. Yeah. Oh, hi. Nice Omar to meet had you. Some, some manners. I did. I introduced he, myself. Some yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Key Lloyd was on the toilet. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> Taking dunk. care of business. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping deuces and whatnot. You know, that he came dude. out. The superhero. Smiling. Hey, mom. This is Omar. This is Keith. No. Yeah. Boy, bye. You're, you're truly trying hanging. it. Yeah, she left <laughs> He acting up in front of company. She he thought not. that the mom was going to be like, oh, hello. No. You don't know your mom by now? Exactly. I even knew that. She was like, who are these kids in my house? Right. Kilo should have called and said, hey, I'm going to have friends over. Kilo? <laughs> that Keloid. little disrespectful thing. No. <laughs> First of all, the mom's probably like, the last time you had a little, one of these little kids in my house, they was dead. We had to bury, bury them. So cut it out. <laughs> Having these little kids in my house. But what was pissing me off was that little boy, Keith. Like, he didn't say nothing. That's the one, that's the kind of kids you need to stay away from. Disrespectful. Mm. Disrespectful on the phone the entire time. Mm -hmm. Even when the mom was like, these kids need to get out of my house. And Kilo was like, y'all gotta go. He didn't even say, he never said hello and he never said goodbye. At least Omar said something. (laughs) Right? He was like, nice. It was a pleasure meeting you, miss, miss. What's your last name? She said, didn't you hear my son? Why are you still talking to me? She's so rude. Why are you still talking to me? (laughs) So then Kilo is like, why you Wait, any behind my- the scenes? Yeah. Um, Wait, what so happened? we did like 10 takes of that shot, um, the living room shot. So I had to keep eating the cereal. <laughs> oh and my it was God. like sugar frosted flakes <laughs> with like whole milk. So by like take six, Stop. I was like, all right, y'all. Like, I ain't Switch got it, it in me. Like, yeah. Switch it out. This I whole milk is it. killing me right now. I'm trying not to burp in the scene. <laughs> oh, my God. I got to fart. Come was, on. Yeah, it was rough. Who still drinks whole milk? Two percent. I do two percent. I was like whole milk though, and it wasn't even like name brand. It was oh like no, the generic like Sea Town milk or something. Sea <laughs> Town. <laughs> that is hilarious. I couldn't do it. So then Kilo said, okay. "Why are you talk to my friends like that? Getting bucked, boy. Who are you talking to? First of all, why are you talking to me like and that? And them ain't your friends, <laughs> especially that little Keith boy, because he has no manners. <laughs> you just met them today. You just met them. What are you talking about, my friends?" And he, she's like, you refuse to follow the rules. And why are you ignoring me? Like, you're really acting out right now. So he's like, if you talk with your mouth like a normal person. She roughed him up so quick. Because who are you talking to? I was like, about time. Who is he talking to? <laughs> we're not, you're not my equal, little boy. <laughs> he think he grown. He really does. Let these powers fool you is what's happening. <laughs> so she's, she's like, listen, we got to go. Like, she start packing and throwing stuff. Mm-hmm. And then she goes, you know, somebody, um, I guess they call it sang singing. She said, someone sang to me. I said, somebody sang. sang to me. What are you talking about? <laughs> On the train. He was like, they do it all the time. It's, right, that's what I was saying. That's what it's called, World Star. I mean, it's your time. That's what they do on the train, girl. <laughs> um, and she said, and they knew something very, very private about me. And she's like, not really trying to give him details. He's mm-hmm. like, listen, um, you told me you told me I need to grow up, so you need to tell me grown man, grown people business. Yeah, he's like, who, what, where, when, and why? Like, right. Give me the facts. What do you, mom? Calm down. Who was this mysterious person? I don't know exactly what this mysterious person is saying. I to said you. it was private. You said I need to grow up, right? That's yeah, you, said. you do. So then tell me, what did they know about you? Well, for one thing, they knew that my body's starting to break down, that I'm getting ready to hibernate. What? <laughs> That's exactly what he says. What? <laughs> he was like, any day you might not be able to wake me. What? What? <laughs> Girl, what, what is going about? on? <laughs> so, Kilo is confused. I'm um, confused. I'm confused. Ronaldo. We all confused. We all confused. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, girl, what? <laughs> yes. So let's get into our um, questions, comments, and concerns about these three episodes. Could you help me? Nah. Could you help me? I have all these questions. I have all these comments. And I have all these concerns. Girl. Where, <laughs> where can I send them? Let me tell you about this, please. Where can I send them? Please. Let me tell you about the place. Tell you me. Send them to, okay? Tell me. You send them to. You don't even know where to send them. Let me tell you about the place that you send them to. All right? You, what you're going to do is uh-huh. log on to your computer. Okay. I'm on. Tap, tap, I'm tap, on. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. Where do I go? You're going to go to seriouslypodcast.com. I'm there. Oh, my God. This site go is down wonderful. To the bu- a beautiful website. Beautiful site. The most beautiful website. Oh my god. In the whole world. I love it. You what else? 
enter a comment, <gasps> enter a question, or enter a concern right here. <gasps> right? It was so easy. Yes, and these two black queens are going to respond. Are they? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Will they read it on their show? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> Um, so again, with this hibernation, what is what it? Is and it? the fact that Keloid already has one parent in hibernation, hib- Where hibernating. Where is his dad? And now he's going to have no parents? Where's his dad? Maybe the dad comes back when the mom goes in. Ooh. What the hell is this? Mm. <laughs> Maybe it's like, roll, like, they take turns. So then for her, her parents... Her mom's been hibernating since she was what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think the dad... Okay. I think the dad... Because she said she didn't, she never had a relationship with her dad. Or they didn't talk that much. So maybe the dad was hibernating first. So she, that's why she don't really know her dad like that. Mm-hmm. Then she grew up. Then the mom went in. Then the dad came back. They don't really talk like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got. I guess. But why is her body breaking down to hibernate? That's what... It, it, it goes to sleep. <laughs> Oh, yeah. For how long though? We don't know. Renato can't. Why give does us she much. have to I'm hibernate? I'm not trying though. to. <laughs> he can't tell us it. too much. No. Why does she have to hibernate? And why hasn't she taught her son like the stages? Yeah. Why didn't she tell him sooner? Like eventually, I'm gonna be sleep sleep, and you can't wake me. up. <laughs> <laughs> so won't because she's just like any minute now. Yeah, she's so calm with it. Any she minute is. now, like, we are gonna pack up right now. But like <laughs> any minute. I'm not hibernating. You just need to be ready. Um, the detective. So we're thinking Acting that's the dad. Super weird. Like, is this him or is this like someone taking over his body like Keloid's mom had did? Good question. Good question. Good question. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Well, I, I don't we... know. Because he was like super tired when he had met Keloid. And then the next day, he got all these senses. True. Maybe. It's weird. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what do you know? I think the detective comes back in the future episodes. Okay. 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 And some good stuff happens. All right. And how does he know about her? Like, mm. this detective being a creep. Yeah, he's a creep. How did he put two and two together? Like, when Keloid showed up, and then he found the mom. And she's a tracker? Because he has said that finally the tracker gets tracked. Mm-hmm. What's well, she tracking? I don't know. I think I think all of our questions gonna be answered mm. in the last three. Mm. I really feel that way. It's three more episodes. <clears throat> Six, last two. Mm-hmm. Last two. Last two. Last two. And the mom, she doesn't like to face her problem. Anytime it's like a problem, <laughs> we gotta go. We like, gotta go. She, she on the move. No. But this time she didn't have her bag ready because the last time she had it. Yeah, ready in her yeah, car. Yeah, but she be telling Keloid, oh, you got to grow up, you know, da, da, da. but she don't want to face her own problems. Yeah. She'll sweep it under the rug and she start does. over. Like, but she's not really teaching him anything. I don't understand. I don't no, understand. she's not really te- teaching him through the steps and yeah. everything. And she she knows he's going to have these questions, so why not he prepare with him? questions, like, every day he has a question. Number one question, where is my dad? <laughs> And you guys are just chilling at home, playing freaking chess. Playing like, chess. Where is his father? So maybe there's something. Maybe she did something about her, her, his father. She don't want him to know. Yeah, maybe he's a bad guy. I don't know. But Keloid knew his dad. Did he? Yeah, because he's. I wish I could see dad. Oh Remember yeah. He said that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe his dad is like evil. What turned a evil villain. when he hibernated? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> And I can't wait to find out what happens with the neighbor. Oh and yes, nosy neighbor. Nosy giving neighbor. out information. Like yeah. where's the money? <laughs> where's the money? <laughs> um, because that's that's definitely gonna come back. Yeah. <clears throat> um I saw some comments on the YouTube channel. Okay. Um, this one's from Jamil Johnson One. Um He's like, really? He plays basketball? Why not the chess team or programming or anything other than basketball? <laughs> Why can't the boy play basketball? Maybe I guess he, he just enjoys basketball. Yeah, I mean, because for chess, he was beating his mom. Yeah, like that's that. easy. Like, yeah. Super easy. But I also think because Keloid, he needs some friends. Yeah. You know, he wants yes, to be down. Yes, he does. You know? Yes. If yes. you want to be with the cool kids, they're going to be on the court. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Talk about it. That's true. You know who also was weird? Omar. <laughs> 
How is it weird? How is Omar weird? The way weird? he had approached Kilo, I'm like, is Detective Blake's Omar's dad? Like, what's Wait, going what? on here? Because he, like, approached much. him like, well, you know you got skin. every single shot, right? <laughs> yeah, basically. He was like, you know you got every single shot, right? I'm like, oh, shit. Does he know that Kilo has these abilities? Because that's no. unusual. Sure. Um... <laughs> No, I mean, I think Omar is like, man, I don't know. This kid doesn't, like, he's not muscular. He doesn't look athletic at all. Right. But for whatever reason, he's nice. Right. And I can, like, get something from him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, okay. You know. But even in the kitchen, when he had popped up out of nowhere, he was like, what did he say? When the mom was like, we got to go. Someone knows. He was like, who? Yeah. Like, I just think he's mysterious. a nosy, like, nosy boy. Yeah. Nosy I boy. mean, he understands, like. He he he's that dude in the club who's like against the wall, mm-hmm. you just know. Observing. Like, yeah, just like he knows all the gossip, who's dating mm-hmm. who. Okay, yeah. You know, like he's always in the cut. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's he lets Keloy get his shine on. Yeah, all right. Yeah. That's he, he, he sees potential in Keloy yeah. too. Like this guy going to go places. Let me stick with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the next one is from Fallon Mufet four. Oh, that is messed up. What exactly is hibernation? How long does it last? It sucks that Keloid <laughs> makes friends only to be told they have to leave. And where is his dad? And what's up with the detective? <laughs> God, I need to know. And I need to know now. Seriously. Same questions. Uh-huh. Seriously. Mm-hmm. Same questions. <clears throat> um, and the last one is from Ivy. Hmm. I wonder if the dad is somewhere is somehow able to speak through the detective while in hibernation, which is what you said. Yeah, that's what I assumed was happening. So when he sang, yeah, sang. I think so too, because he knew too much <laughs> about the mom. Much. Yeah, she was like, "Who's selling my business out here in yeah. the streets?" Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we'll see. I'm Even excited. Even Keloid don't know things about her, which is a little creepy, a little scary. Yeah, <coughs> because now he's left to like figure it out on mm-hmm. his own. Yeah, mm-hmm. and or that boy don't himself. know nothing. 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 I think by I think episode six, the mom's gonna be broke down. <laughs> And then Keela got to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> she going to be hibernating. Yeah, she, she, she going to wake up. Mom, she, she hibernating. So where do they like hibernate? We're going to see. We're going to see. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, we're going to find out. And I'm excited to find out. Okay, guys. So that was episodes three to five. Um, thank you, for Ronaldo, for recapping the episodes mm-hmm. with us. Uh, before you go, could you just tell our listeners where they can find you and let them know of any upcoming projects you have? Oh, yeah. I'm on social media, on Instagram and Twitter, at Reynaldo Ray. Most people call me Ray, so that's where the handle comes from. Um, things to look out for, I'm recurring on the Amazon series Sneaky Pete. Okay. I'm going into season two, coming out soon. I'm in season one also. Um, I'm in the feature film 1% More Humid that came out today on okay. iTunes. Okay. Um, it was nominated for the best feature film at the Tribeca Film Festival. Okay. Um, so, you know, I'm out there. He out here. <laughs> <laughs> out, y'all. Speaking of film festivals. Oh, yeah. Speaking of film festivals, Keloid just won the best web series award at the yes. October Film Festival. We were there. Oh, yes. yeah. So, you know, that's exciting. Watching. You know, we, uh, we reached our fundraising goal for season two. That's Ooh. a song. So that's in the works. Okay. Um, a lot of questions to be answered in season yes. two. All right. But, you know, it's exciting. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Ronaldo. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. This is awesome. <laughs> Good. You didn't say bye. Oh, oh. And I'm like, all right, like, all right, that's it. Cut. All right, y'all. All right, so next week we'll be back with episode six and seven with the creator of Keloy. So if you have any QCCs for her, um, you can send them to us at seriouslypodcasts at gmail.com or send them, to us, send them to us on our website at seriouslypodcasts.com. Thanks, guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Got a blast. <laughs>